The former House Speaker Newt Gingrich joins us this morning again, Mr. Speaker. Thanks for coming on. But what a difference a week makes. Last Monday you were on this program surging coming out of South Carolina. This week you come in plunging in Florida. Is it too late for you to recover and win Florida? Well, the latest uh, insider advantage poll showed me having closed the gap last night to within five points. You know, I think uh, Romney's problem is that the big truth beats the big lie. George Soros in Europe yesterday said publicly uh, in a Reuters interview that's on video that uh, he's perfectly happy with either Obama or Romney, that they're the same people. Uh, the, the minor differences. He said Gingrich, now that would be real change, but he said Romney's fine. Goldman Sachs, largest funder of uh, Obama in 2008, largest funder of Romney in 2012. Um, the, uh, the administration, the Obama administration, is waging a war against the Catholic Church, as described by Cardinal Dolan in the letter which was read in every Catholic parish in the country yesterday. Well, guess what? Mitt Romney's, uh, Romney care, uh, he re specifically refused to exempt Catholic hospitals. He specifically cut funding for kosher meals for uh, Jewish senior elders uh, in uh, Medicaid in uh, Massachusetts. There's a lot of parallels between these two guys. But Romney care and Obamacare are essentially the same. But Mr. Now, Speaker. My point, George, is this. Uh, he can bury me for a very short amount of time with four or five or six times as much money, most of it raised on Wall Street from the guys who got bailouts from, from the government. In the long run, the Republican Party is not going to nominate the founder of Romney Care, a liberal Republican who is pro-abortion, pro-gun control, and pro-tax increase. But Mr. Speaker, it ain't going to happen. Front page USA Today this morning shows that Mitt <clears throat> Romney's doing much better than you against President Obama. He's basically tied with President Obama in the key swing states, but President Obama opens up a seven-point lead over Rick Santorum, a seven-point lead over Ron Paul, and a 14-point lead over you. Why shouldn't a Republican on the fence look at that and say, I may like Newt Gingrich, I may even agree with him on many things, but he can't beat President Obama? For the same reason that in 1980, when Ronald Reagan was down 30 points against Jimmy Carter, conservatives looked and said, you know, I'd rather have a guy who can go into the debates with a clear conservative position than some guy who can't even distinguish between Romney care and Obamacare. Uh, I think it's going to be very hard for Mitt Romney uh, with the funding from Goldman Sachs, with a statement today from George Soros. How's he going to explain to the country he's going to be different? Uh, I think that the fact is that they, a liberal, you know, we, we nominated a moderate in 1996, he got beaten badly. We nominated a moderate in 2008, he got beaten badly. I know that the establishment would love to nominate Romney, and they want to make him electable so they can then beat him in the fall. But I think the record of 96 and 2008 is <clears throat> you had better have a conservative who can draw a really wide gap. Mr. And Romney care and Obama care about this far apart. Mr. Speaker, you've made it clear again and again and again that you think Mitt Romney is a dishonest man. You think he's lied about you and your record, and his campaign has lied about you and your record. Will you still pledge to endorse him if he defeats you? And can you be effective, an effective campaigner for the ticket after what you've said about him? George, he misled the entire country in the last debate on his own voting pattern. Uh, he, mis he misled the country in a whole range of things. We just found out that he had 23 foreign uh, assets he didn't even list in his disclosure forms. I mean, go down the list. I'm not talking about me. Uh, I'm saying the same thing that Mike Huckabee said, the same thing that uh, John McCain said last time, the same thing that Rudy Giuliani said this fall. Uh, I think that he has a real challenge. So uh, will that keep you from endorsing him if he wins? That's a problem. Will that keep you from endorsing no, him if he wins? No, th because I, th look, I think, I think re-electing Obama is a disaster, uh, but I, and I would certainly endorse the Republican nominee, but I think that Mitt Romney will have a very, very hard time trying to uh, differentiate himself, and I think that's what the George Soros message is this morning. Mr. Speaker, thanks for your time this morning. Good to be with you.